Hello everyone. How are you today everyone? So in here this is the unit 7 future plans the review. Today I'm going to review on page 58 until page 60. So everyone please focus and attention. In this purpose I want to review before we start another next page because I'm afraid that for your long holiday will be give you a forgotten of the lesson. Chúng ta nghe thấy chưa? Nâng rầm lực mê điên nợ chấp bị tập bò thì hà sẽ bấm bay đo tập bò thì học sấp nông vật thổ bầm nón, lại cái này thì nẹt thằng ọc nia, chụp sầm rạ chỉ chăn thằng ai tới ai chỉ phải mê điên môi chấm nuốn. Nhưng chẳng hai bạn thì thấy chưa? Thuốc cao rầm lực môn bê đại dương nông vật to tơ điên nơi tập bò mình tuột thằng đài. Đây là dương chập đam tại mà đó. Review pack 58. In China, Kronto Party has the Prambai. We have a short conversation, right? Now, everyone, how do you read in the first sentence? Can you read that? Good. So, we read 1. What are you going to do this weekend? So, how do you translate in Khmer? Tane. Nâng thua với nơi trong sạp bà đà này Number 2 Everyone, how do you read number 2? Good Number 2 I'm going to stay home How do you translate in Khmer? Good Khi nhóm nâng nơi bà tè Number 3 How do you read it? Good. Uh, three. I'm going to play hockey. So we translate in Khmer. Very good. Khnom nang le ke la we kon go na le ta ko. Number four. How do you read number four, everyone? Good. Number four. I'm going to play. In a tournament. So we translate in Khmer. Khnom nang leng ne khnong ka pro kuot. So the word tournament, it means ka pro kuot. Or we can say competition. Number five, read everyone. Very good. Five, good luck. I hope you win. Thanks. Xem năng là ớ, khi em xin khâm thả nệ chân nè, ớ cùn. So on page 58, we just focus on some key term, talking about good luck, I hope you win. And when you reply back it, thanks, or you can say thank you. Go on to the next page, everyone. In page 59, we focus some activities that we learn some first, right? So from number one until number six, I'm going to show you the picture and I'm going to ask you what is the fresh we're talking about. So now number one, look at this picture. What is the fresh? Yeah, yeah, good. I hope you know this phrase. So, see a play. Can you repeat after me? See a play. Very good. Number two. What is the phrase? Very good. Go horseback riding. Go horseback riding. Can you repeat after me? Go horseback riding. Number three. What is it, everyone? Very good. Play ice hockey. Play ice hockey. Can you repeat after me again? Play ice hockey. Number four. What is it, everyone? Good. 
Go shopping. Can you repeat after me? Go shopping. To number five. What is it, everyone? Yeah, very good. Plant flowers. Can you repeat after me? Plant flowers. Number five. Ah, uh, no, I'm sorry. Number six. What is it? Very good. Play soft ball. Play soft ball. Can you repeat after me again? Play soft ball. Now, please read from number one and number six. Repeat after me all together. One, see a play. Two, go horseback riding. Three, play ice hockey. Four, go shopping. Five, plant flowers. Six. Play soft ball. Go on to the next page. Now we just review some sentences on page fifty nine, because we focus on some picture and we focus on the question and answer also. Now number one, as you look into this picture, you know already the phrase is, "See a play, right?" So, what the question are you going to ask? So the question is. What she's going to do? So the answer: She's going to see a play. Now look another example number two. So in here she again right. So the question: What she's going to do? And the answer: She's going to plant flowers. And number three: Look at this picture. How many people are there? Right, there are two people. So we cannot use he or she, but we use the subject. Very good, the subject they. So everyone, how do you make a question for this picture? Can you think about it for one minute? And you need to think about the answer also. I hopefully that you can find the answer. So the answer is. What are they going to do? So the answer: They are going to play ice hockey. Now another one test for number four. So there are two people again, right? So what is the question, and what is the answer? I think you may know it. Now the answer is. What are they going to do? And the answer: They are going to go horseback riding. Now, everyone, it's time for you to read. I just point for you, and you need to read it. So the first one, I will read, and you repeat after me. And number two, number three, and number four, you just read by your own. Now let's go on, everyone. One. What she's going to do? She's going to see a play. Now you need to read by your own. I just point one, two, three, go. Very good. I hope that everyone you can read it correctly. If you are not read as well or not read good at all, you can go back to the previous this and then you need to repeat again by your own. Next peg, everyone. So on peg sixty, you need to focus on the phrases again. We going to have six phrases also. So number one. 
What do you think about this phrase, everyone? Look at the picture. So the answer is rent DVDs. Repeat after me: rent DVDs. Picture number two: borrow some books. Repeat after me: borrow some books. Look at the picture number three. What do you think about the phrase? Good. Go backpacking. Can you repeat after me? Go backpacking. Number four. What is it, everyone? Very good. Mail a letter. Can you repeat after me? Mail a letter. Now, picture number five. What do you think is the picture number five? Yeah, very good. Read a novel. Can you repeat after me? Read a novel. Number six. Very good. Now, go on vacation. Can you repeat after me? Go on vacation. Now, everyone, you need to read by your own from number one until number six. Now you can pause the video, and then you can read by your own. Chúng ta từng học này ai chơi cổng tự tử hay là từng học này ăn bị lệch mũi, đo lệch từ mũi. Đại khuôn án bằng tọa mắt trăm này từng học này chơi bằng tọa play tiệt. The beta mờ video này khẳng mục. I hope that everyone enjoy reading from page sixty. Now we continue another next page. So review on page sixty again, but this time we focus on the sentences. But the question in here we need to answer in the short answer or so. Chương này thì nãy giờ nâng bắt đầu từ lời bài dục sum đủ để kia bàn tay dừng bắt đầu từ lời chấm lại mà vẫn bài play. Chương này toàn này sum lăng từ một đục phía từ mũi. And look at the question also. So the question they ask: Are you going to rent DVDs tomorrow? Và dân cách chỉ bị giá máy ta nè nâng tờ chùa đi, nâng chùa đi, nơi thành xây đứ. Chẳng được không được phép nấy cứ tẹt toang cho nâng ở cái cầu tòa tẹt toang cho nâng chùa đi sao bây giờ? Chẳng yes rồi cái nào tòa học đi? Yeah, chậm lại bà con chia. Yes, I am. Rồi cái số you nè, chẳng những trái luôn là yes, I am. Number two, chúng sum lăng từ mở đục phép hay sum đố cái số thả. Are you going to go on vacation this summer? Ta nè nâng tư vi sum mạc ca nơi đợi cái đài này đứ. Chúng bây giờ mở ta mở đục phép nghi tư. Go on vacation, rồi có go backpack hẹn. Yeah, chúng nhìn đăng chùm lại chùm lại chùm lại chùm lại chùm lại chùm lại chùm lại. No, I'm not. Rồi có nè tăng ọc này ai thì xây bến. No, I am not. Tàu ọc này tăng ọc này. So thank you everyone for your time, for your hard working and watching this video. So you need to, if you want to make more clearly, you just go back and review this video by your own again and again for two times or three times. And you need to listen and you need to repeat again and again. I hopefully that everyone you can, uh, you know, you do in a very good job in this lesson. Before we continue another next page. Goodbye and good luck everyone.